Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa runs on Legendary Mode. Today we're doing the Faroe Islands. The reason why I'm doing the Faroe Islands is because I did a qualification series with them a while back, but I didn't actually make it to the World Cup, and I did say at the end of the second video that I would do the Faroe Islands on the World Cup mode just like this anyway, like I'll do it again but just starting from the World Cup like a normal run. So we're going to do it today, the Faroe Islands. I don't know how far I'm going to get. It could be a really short video. It depends what kind of group we get. Boom, what group have we got? We got Portugal, Norway and Cyprus. Okay, not too bad. There's a load of tough teams in this World Cup, a load of big teams and a few little teams I see there as well. Our first match of the group stage is a real tough one against Portugal. Not the kind of start that I wanted to be honest, but we're going to give it a real good go with the Faroe Islands. That qualification series I did a while back, I got stupidly close to qualifying. I think I just lost out on like um, either like points or goal difference or something, I can't remember, but if you want to view that, then um, just type it in the search bar like Tobaloco, Faroe Islands or something. If you ever want to see any run that I do, if you can't find it, the easiest way to do it is just to type Tobaloco and then um, the, the name of the country into the search bar, and more than likely it will come up. If it doesn't come up, then I haven't done them yet. Someone suggested on my last video that it would be cool if, like, you could play as um, historic World Cup teams on these get types of games. Like, um, I don't know, like Brazil from the 1970s or the England 1966 squad. You know, it would be cool if EA did that. Maybe, like, in the future or something. I think I've talked about it before in um, my video where I explained what I wanted in the uh, 2022 World Cup. But, um... On the on some of the games, oh, that's a bad tackle by none other than Pepe. But no yellow card here for him yet. Something that crossed my mind as well is that the World Cup mode, if we ever do get it, oh, brilliant save. Um, if we ever do get it, it's not going to come out on FIFA 22. I don't think it is because FIFA 23 comes out before the World Cup in 2022. FIFA 23 will be out in October 2022, or somewhere around that time. So you're probably gonna see the World Cup mode on FIFA 23 instead of 22. Maybe, I mean, if you think about it, all the features they piled in um, to FIFA 22, and some of the features look really cool, like career mode, create your own team, and stuff like that. I've been saying that for years, that EA should be doing stuff like that on career mode. Like, absolutely. Like, you should be able to make your own team, design your own stadium and stuff like that. Why did it take so long for EA to go, okay, we'll do it now? It's just like, why did it take so long? So far, so good, though. We've held Portugal to a nil-nil draw at the moment. I'm kind of hoping it stays like that. Out of the most of the five-star teams that you can play, Portugal are one of the easier five-star teams. I'm not meaning that with any disrespect to Portugal when they're going for on goal and that, but they just scored against me. I ate my own words. I couldn't defend that. Lietzen did some, a little bit of juggling act in the box there. As the ball came in, it, oh, it bounced off my player's thigh and Lietzen managed to scoop it up. So now Portugal are in the lead. It's 1-0 and I've definitely eaten my words here. If we can get Pepe sent off, it might work to my advantage. Whoa, 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 game. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> like, that felt... He, he got in front of my goalkeeper and just, um... Like, tried to outheader him. Here we go. Come on, Holst. Come on. Like, I think he messed about with the ball too much. Holst! Oh, good save. He messed about with the ball too much. Like, he couldn't control it properly. I understand. You know, half-star player. I feel like, even though we're losing, I feel like I played well. Like, this team can get into attacking positions. They're not, like, completely useless, like some of the teams I've played. Through ball here. Go on. Go on. Oh, that was really unlucky. It just didn't get the angle. And that might be game over. we still got five minutes left, or just over five minutes. The Faroese dropped the first game against Portugal. And to be fair, it was a very competitive match. There wasn't many goals in this one. Only one. So that's quite a respectable performance from the Faroese. 
and hopefully we can move on to the next two games, Norway and Cyprus, and actually beat those two. I feel that we played well enough against Portugal to say that we can win against Cyprus. Cyprus lost against Norway as well. I'm fairly sure as well Portugal did beat um, Norway in their second match as well. So Portugal have already got six points, Norway have got three, so I need to get on on the scoreboard now. Right, that should be for on goal. Yes, it is. Holst. Oh, go on. Sneak underneath. Yes, that was so lucky. And we take the lead against Cyprus. Nice one, Faroe Islands. And Holst as well. Good battling. And a little bit of luck makes it 1-0 in the first 11 minutes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Tried to finesse. I've never really seen a computer go for a proper finesse shot before. Faroe Islands knocking the ball around very, very cleanly. Very nice. It's what you love to see. That was a great pass to Lokin. Can Holst get in the box? And maybe that's perfect. Oh, go on. Let that drop. Yes, that was perfect. That little drop. That was absolutely... Why does the computer skip replays like that? It's almost like like someone I'm playing against someone online and they're like yep skip that and as it came down I mean it probably would have gone in anyway because the defender was right there and um, the defender probably would have scored an own goal no more than likely anyway but didn't want to take any chances and we just knock it in and we're 2-0 up already we're at half time and we're 2-0 up against Cyprus a brilliant brilliant start from the Ferraris who would have thought it that this little minnow will be making waves in this group. Hopefully they can get out of this group. We'll see what happens in the second half. Oh, okay, Constantinou out on the wing. He crosses it in. Uh, it hasn't really reached anybody. And, yeah, that's poor defending. Nobody was really there. Come on, focus, everybody. Focus. We can't drop this game. If we do, we're out. We have to win this game. Oh, that's poor defending. Get in front of that ball when it's coming in. And that's a free kick. What? Like, what was going on in that situation now? I hope that's not theirs. It is. What? I didn't even do anything on that play. Nothing at all. And thankfully, Cyprus blasted it over the bar. Out on the wing, they crossed it in. Thankfully, we get it. They are really battling to try and get this game back. That was a great tackle by Holst. But yet again, the referee blows the whistle. I don't understand that. Like, he's just a bigger guy. Like, just allow it. It's been quite a tough match to do, really. I'd say it's actually been more tough than Portugal. Oh, my God, that was ridiculous. Some of these balls that are coming into the box are just crazy. They're just throwing my keeper off guard. My defence don't know how to deal with them either. They're, like, all over the place. The goalkeeper's up now. What can Cyprus do on this one? They cross it in, and it just goes right through everybody. Probably the best in that situation. Yes, come on, we beat Cyprus 2-1. I know that doesn't seem like an impressive like victory, like considering I've done better in the past, but this is really good because this could help us beat Norway and help us potentially get into the round of 16. This is how the group looks then. We got the three points against Cyprus, but Norway, uh, they got a better goal difference. Portugal are already through. Um, so we really need to win. There's no other excuses. If we draw, we're out. Um, we just need to win. Can the Minnow Faroe Islands get through in this situation? The world is watching. The Faroe Islands are watching. It's against Norway. One of their, well, I'd say neighbours. Yeah, pretty much because they're close to each other. Obviously, the Faroe Islands is an island, of course. So they're not attached to Norway, but... Yeah, they are closest to Norway and um, Scotland and uh, Iceland as well. So I guess you could say it's a little bit of a rivalry. What can the Ferraris do here? They're out in full support. The whole island is here for the World Cup game against Norway. Let's go. This might be a tough test because Norway, they got like Hesklerp. They've got John Carew. They've got Morgan Scamps Pedersen as well. They've also got Risa in defence. It's going to be tough. Come on, Holst. Make that run. Go on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Yes. Oh, your touch is just letting me down a little bit. Oh, no. Go on. Scoop that. Oh, very close there to taking the lead. Unlucky. Cyprus have taken a shock lead against Portugal. Now they have three points as well. That complicates the group massively now. Could mean that Cyprus... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that was short-lived, wasn't it? Barely any shots in this game, only three overall. 
And that's a foul. I baited him into that. That's a yellow card for the substitute, Tete. Go on! Oh my god, I accidentally, like, I, I can't believe we scored that because when I was trying to score, I tried to finesse shot, it threw me off. I pressed the A button to do something. I accidentally passed it here and I was like, oh my god, that's offside. But thankfully we scored and the Ferraris have taken a 1-0 lead. That was really, really lucky, the way that played out. Because it could have gone so differently. It, I could have accidentally passed it off the field. I could have been offside. But luckily, the, the circumstances were in my favour. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on. He, he went for the slide tackle. I knew he would. I knew he would go for it. And the captain has been sent off. This is huge. We could do this now. I knew he was going to go for it. Like, it was such a bad decision by the captain of Norway. Why would he do that? Like, just push me off the ball. I'm a, like, half-star player. Oh, yes. Go on. Holst is running. He's going to take me out, isn't he? No, he's not. And it's 2-0. We've buried the game. Great performance by the Faroe Islands. In the 90th minute, Holst seals the deal. And the Faroe Islands have made the dream come true. They're out of the group stage. And they're going to the round of 16. That play was amazing. Norway were down to 10 men. That strike was pretty decent, to be fair. It was very good. Like, just went straight into the like back corner of the net. Yes. We beat Norway. We dump them out. And we go through in the group stage. Please don't have any glitches. No group stage glitch. Please, no. So this is how the tournament is looking then. So we got a shock already. Northern Ireland beat Italy 2-0, um, Germany beat Poland on penalties, Brazil beat the Czech Republic 2-1, Holland beat Portugal 2-1, uh, Argentina beat Paraguay 4-1, Serbia beat Ireland 2-1, then we've got England versus Russia and Greece versus the Faroe Islands, so that's our next opponent. Here we are then, we got a really good chance to get to a quarter-final with the Faroe Islands, if we can just get Greece here, then we'll be okay. Greece can be tough sometimes, they're not like... The super, super, super good. But, yeah, they can be a little bit tough sometimes. Oh, wow, that was a bit of a mistake. Here comes Holst. Can he make it 1-0 early on? Yes, he can. It's 1-0. We did that little turn to perfection to get it under the keeper. And in the 15th minute, Holst has scored and really aggravated the Greek keeper from that move. He almost saved it, but I did a little turn to just sort of, like, get it underneath the keeper. Keeper, what are you doing? Like, don't do that. I didn't tell you to come out. He could have scored from that angle. And the way the shot went as well would have been ridiculous. Because it didn't even, like, go the way it should have gone. I just can't see where the second goal is going to come from. Nobody's really sort of, like, stepped up in this, like, game after we scored. It seems like we've just gone, like, yeah, we scored. Now we're just going to sit on this lead now. And it's very dangerous to do that, especially as a, a weak team like the Faroe Islands. Uh-oh, no, that was a really good ball. Gekas coming forward, but the keeper put him off. That was good play by the goalkeeper. Get in front of him. Oh, that was so lucky. Like, we just like, nearly botched that up then. Just tried to shrug him off the ball. I didn't want to, like, try and tackle him because it might have, like, resulted in a penalty. Greece looked like they could be going out to the stubborn, stubborn defence of the Faroe Islands. We've been doing so well to shut out these attacks from Greece. They are constantly giving me a barrage of, like, over-the-top through balls and, like, shots from outside the box and stuff like that. But we've held our own for about 81 minutes. Can we just hold on for another six more minutes? Yes! Come on! We beat Greece 1-0. I know it doesn't seem like much, it's only a 1-0 victory, but defensively the Faroe Islands were so good because they were constantly like hitting me on the break. There were situations where it was like a 3 versus one situation and we still did it. Our goalkeeper did really well to throw off Greek attackers as well. Just brilliant. And we march on into the quarterfinals. So this is how the tournament's looking like right now. Germany beat Northern Ireland 3-0. Brazil beat Holland 3-1. Um, then you've got Argentina versus Serbia. And England versus the Faroe Islands. So I'm officially now the lowest ranked team left in the tournament. This may be where it comes to an end uh, against England here. We lost against Portugal in the group stages. Uh, only by one goal. 
which was very promising, and we've, we've improved since then, but only against sort of, like, average sides in the world, like Norway, Cyprus, and Greece. But now we've got a big boy again, England, and it's time to show now where our form is. If we can defend well against them, if we can beat them, then that would be amazing. Absolutely incredible. But I just don't think that we'll have the quality to do it. Lennon. He's just going to sprint past everybody, and he? Look, I just can't tackle him. Heskey's going through. He chips the goalkeeper, and thankfully it goes over the bar. Heskey almost pulled off the unthinkable. Gerard crosses it in. That was a crazy cross. Luckily, the keeper hasn't really allowed many of those, like, crosses to determine how the game's going to go. Oh, they had to foul me, and now Holst is going for on goal. Holst, oh, unlucky. That was our first shot. Oh, that was so lucky. What the hell? That almost went straight in. Like, he shot, hit the goalkeeper, and it bounced off his head and almost went straight in again. Oh, that could have been... Well, it could have been a yellow or a red. It was quite a really risky tackle. Crossed in. Holst. Oh, we just haven't had the chances that we need. I knew this would happen. I knew either against England or Russia, whoever we would have played, obviously we're playing England right now, that it was going to be so difficult to get any chances against both of them. Look at that ridiculous ball. Look at that. That was absolutely crazy from the computer at least in the score, yet that was just ridiculous. I knew something like that would happen. And Jermaine Defoe, again, how many times in my runs against England have, has Jermaine Defoe scored against me in late opportunities, like late um, minutes of the game, sorry. Like, it's just, like, ridiculous. That ball, but I think it was either Gerard or, like, one of, the, one of the defenders, like Terry or something, that was absolutely absurd. Please. Please. No! Oh, Ferdinand blocked it when I did the, <laughs> when I did the shot. Look at this. Oh, like, Green got it there. Why did they skip the replays? I didn't even touch it. I think the Ferraris are going out here. But to be fair to them, they played extremely well. They really did. They are a super good defensive team. Honestly, for a half-star team, they are really good defensively. If England would just stop doing these ridiculous balls, like, that was a good, that was a good goal, to be fair. <laughs> like, I'm not even mad. I'm already out anyway, so they basically just put the cherry on top of the icing on top of the cake. But that was a ridiculous ball. But, like, I think my players are tired. And, um, yeah, that's probably why we conceded a goal like that. But to be fair to the Faroe Islands, we did extremely well to get this far. Defensively, they were really good as well, so they can't be too disappointed with themselves. The smallest team to get this far um, in this World Cup anyway. England beat Germany 1-0 in the final and uh, Brazil beat Serbia in the third place playoff. So that was your run with the Faroe Islands. We finally finished it off. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was quite a competitive run. Very good defensive team, the Faroe Islands. I'm very, I'm quite pleased with that run, to be honest. So if you did like this video, then obviously give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.